Hello and welcome to this edition of Fiery Friday. I'm Rob Lienti, Senior Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And today I'm going to show you how you can organize print jobs easily with the new features inside of Command Workstation 6.7 and the enhancements made to the Fiery Tags feature. In this example, I have six workflows I've created in Fiery Job Flow. All of these jobs that are going to run through these workflows are going to be run in an automated cutter. However, each one of these jobs has different ticketing information. So if I click on some of these workflows, you'll see that this output is for tickets. Uh, the next one we'll check is going to be for fold over business cards, so on and so forth. But when they all get to the fiery, I want to be able to gang them all up to run at once so then I can cut them in my automated cutter. So I'm going to use the fiery's tag feature to organize these things easily. So the first thing we're going to do is in Command Workstation 6.7, we're going to do a right click on the job status area, select Add New, and then go over Job Info and select Tags at the bottom. So this is going to put a column in Command Workstation for Tags. That's the first part. The next part is we're going to come over and select the Tabs arrow and select Manage Tabs and hit Add. And I'm going to type in here Auto Cutter Jobs. I'll select a, cut, a color and hit Add. Okay, so now I've created a tag specifically for my Auto Cutter Jobs. The next thing we're going to do is double click on the Fiery server we're connected to and we're going to go into Device Center and select Job Presets underneath Workflows. Now the reason we're doing this is these are the server presets or job presets that I created for job flow that has all the ticketing information for these specific types of jobs. We need to edit these to add the tags into the job properties. This is new in Command Workstation 6.7. So we're going to go to Job Info, select the Auto Cutter Jobs, and then hit OK. And then we'll do that for all four of these job presets. This will allow us to now organize easily jobs inside a command workstation specifically for the cutter. So now I'm going to select all of these unique jobs for job flow and we're going to drop them in my automated uh, folder and the jobs will disappear and go over to command workstation and now we'll switch over to command workstation and see the end result. So now you're seeing the jobs are coming in with the auto cutter jobs tag assigned to them. All right? And then on the right hand side you will see all the unique workflows for those jobs. So the ticketings are unique, but it's much easier for me now to organize my jobs for my auto cutter to run all at once using tags and Command Workstation 6.7. I want to thank you for joining me for this edition of Fiery Friday. If you have any questions about the video you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me at rob.lienti at EFI.com or message me on LinkedIn. Have a great weekend.